Hi, I'm Michael Binder, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple batik cloth dyeing project that can be adapted for basically all elementary school levels. And so basically what this assignment is, is using, um, in this case, crayon or some kind of oil or wax um, to draw a design and then um, paint over it with a liquid pigment. Um, so I'm going to start... I, um, I set up by taping my cloth onto a solid cardboard surface just um, for st stability um, and with uh, a large group of kids um, you'd probably want to lay down um, some newspaper underneath it and uh, provide smocks for all the children. Okay so to start the project um, we're going to look at we have some examples and it's always good to have some examples to show the kids um, and in this case we're looking at some traditional African designs um, so I'll choose the turtle since it's pretty um, basic looking and so to start this project you're just going to draw the design onto the cloth um, and you want to um, want it to be pretty solid um, make sure you get plenty of the wax from the crayon on so this is a step that if some kids have a harder time um, pushing down hard enough to make a solid design, you can help them out a little bit. Um, but I'll just kind of push down really hard and just get nice thick outlines. And I'm just gonna do a real quick version for our purposes. some quick legs and you can see it doesn't show up very well um, I'm using yellow because the ink color I'm using is blue and so yellow is going to show up really well once I paint the blue on but at this point it's going to be kind of hard to see and so I just push down get some nice solid lines Quick tail, quick head, and we'll call that guy good. So there is the first step of the design process. Um, so then next, we'll move on to the painting. And so you can use um, any kind of liquid dyes. Um, I'm just using some liquid watercolor here. Um, just need a little bit. And so what we're going to do is then paint over the whole sheet of cloth. So then our, um, our wax design is going to show through. Cover, and you can see it cover the cloth but not soak into anywhere that you colored with crayon which is kind of cool it's a fun thing for kids to watch as their design slowly comes through and it's good to use a nice dark ink with a light a light um, wax or vice versa. Just get a nice solid layer. And there we go. So then I'll remove this and hang it to dry. And then it'll basically be ready.